Sports presents Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Benning Bites with Damon Benning. Another snippet from Benning Bites. We appreciate you. Keep getting uh, good positive feedback. We just talk about whatever it is that you guys want to talk about, right? What would you talk about if you... Had me for four or five minutes, just pulled me to the side. Say, hey, what are your thoughts on that guy? So however you get him, Google, Apple, you know, Spotify. Um, maybe just go into the uh, Hell Varsity website. And you're like, oh, my gosh, where's the radio tab? That's us. And that's Benning Bites, the place to see what's happening. Right now, currently, it's a fantastic show yesterday. <laughs> Uh, trying to cover a ton of ground. Thank goodness for another hour, and we still can't get it all. And, you know, we talked about this. Um, this was some years ago. I remember Coach Riley kind of went on a run, and expectation levels changed midstream because Nebraska was winning games, and I think they were 8-0 and and getting ready to play Wisconsin or something like that, close. And we started to believe, even though those weren't the expectations that that team set out with. And it got me thinking about Nebraska basketball, how we have run the gamut in terms of expectations of what we think this team is capable of. When the season started, we were like, yeah, you know, middle of the pack. You know, you want to finish in the top nine somewhere. It's like, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's legit. That's fair. They're seven and three with their starting five, their top five, and it's like, ooh, what are we capable of? And then Bandamel goes down for the second big injury after losing Gary at Penn State, and it's like, up, oh, we're in trouble. Then they lost six out of seven between Illinois there and Illinois here, and it was like, oh boy, is Coach Weber gonna keep his job? And now, lo and behold. Two in a row coming off the victory against Wisconsin and at Rutgers, the House of Horrors, Jersey Subs Arena, Mike's Subs if you're playing at home. Nebraska gets a win. And now <laughs> what emotions are we feeling now? What are they capable of? Be honest. You guys poked, you took a peek at the schedule. You saw Maryland. You saw Minnesota. You're thinking, ah, if it all breaks away, we could get Michigan State. Then it's a crapshoot against Iowa. Nebraska win three out of four. Nebraska win two out of four. Have you even gone that far? Or is it just, listen, man, it's alumni weekend against Maryland on the 19th on a Sunday. We just want to win that one, and we'll go from there. <laughs> How have you been on the roller coaster? But I know one thing that's not debatable is this staff. you got to give a shout-out. Kudos, hats off. The best coaching performance. And it's interesting because Trev Albert spoke it into existence a couple weeks ago when he said it's undeniable, unequivocal, the progress that this basketball team has made. And everybody was like, yep, that's it. Yeah, Coach Hoiberg's coming back. But remember, that was just like 10 days ago. My, how things change in a hurry. But, again, just kind of the forecasting and foreshadowing of, of your athletic director. Kind of called a shot. So now what happens on the 19th against Maryland? And who will be the star this time? Tomonaga was the easy one to talk about over the last three weeks, but he's been getting some help. Gary was huge in overtime against Wisconsin. Greasel was fantastic uh, in Piscataway. C.J. Wilcher was amazing in Piscataway. Outside of the turnovers, I think five of them for Lawrence. He's playing better. Uh, who's going to be the new hero? How about Sam Hoiberg? He got a little run, playing well, making free throws. Who's going to be the hero on Sunday? I think that's the thing that makes this team so much fun to watch. You just never know. They were 14-point underdogs a couple of days ago in Piscataway. How about that? They even treated the radio crew hostile, getting on my guys Jake Muleheisen and Kent Pavelka. How dare you? I still want to... I want to know Kent's response to that because <laughs> he can give it to you if he wants to. Oh, that would have been fun. Kind of like the remainder of this season. And will your expectation levels change again? Let me know. 888-638-4876. 
Give my man Andrew Rogers a follow. Listen to Coffee and Cream at 590 ESPN Radio in Omaha. And from 9 to 10, you can get us in Lincoln. They're making some changes. That's out of our control. I mean, we can't control the programming. We can just try to provide quality content and let the powers that be do what they will. Like hopefully being a part of this program. It's another episode of Benning Bites. 